y'all. It's American Mum. I'm ready to react to Sopranos. This is season two, episode five. Last week, uh, the guys went to Italy, their homeland. And I didn't include a lot of parts with, uh, what's his face? <laughs> the older guy. Um, he didn't like the food. He wanted pasta with gravy, he said. Spaghetti and meatballs. Spaghetti and, spaghetti and tomato sauce. So, they're Italian, but they're not Italian. He was trying to, like, make conversations with people, and they just weren't having any of it. And he was just, he was, like, out of place. And, yeah, I didn't include a lot of his scenes. They were funny, but I had to put, like, just the, the meat of the episode into the... 10 minutes, but, um, yeah, so they went to Italy. Tony had to do business with a woman. God forbid. I mean, literally you would have thought, I mean, that just wasn't, that didn't happen in this business. So anyway, uh, meanwhile, back in New Jersey, back home, Carmela is comforting a friend of hers that her husband's, you know, um, big P. And doing the same thing Tony does. I mean, Carmela knows her lifestyle better than anybody. But she's like, stay for the kids. You don't need a divorce. Shocks her into staying, I think. But um, that's pretty much it. It was, it was not one of my favorite episodes. It was just kind of... It was just kind of there, you know. Um, but we'll see what happens. I'm anxious. I'd like to see Richie again. Even though he's really violent... At least some action was happening. And I have to see Livia. I must say I miss her. The way she talks without moving her mouth and like it's and just acting, you know, playing dumb. It's just it's really funny. It's 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 amusing because I don't have to deal with her. She's not my mother. Alright, let's do this. Got money for blow, but not for us, huh? Chris, please! Dang. I'm sorry! Business slow. Half the fucking neighborhoods out there waiting for blowjobs. You drug addict motherfucker. Oh, I think he was working on that. This shit's unacceptable. I thought maybe you could hire him, you know, help me out with the immigration. Kitchen's pretty packed, though, and I can barely pay myself. Did I ask you to pay him? I'll take care of the money. Why does he want to come here? He's got a job over there. You know what? Either do me the favor or not. His wife is going to be... Third on up. You needed pissed. something. I was there. No questions. God. Does he at least uh, know his ass from a shkomotz? I kill people for a living. <laughs> uh, my name is Chris McAvity. I work on Wall Street. Uh, not on Wall Street, but, you know, stocks. You write? Yeah, yeah. I want to write for the movies. Good fellas, shit like that. Hate that nephew Anthony Soprano probably remains the de facto boss of the North Jersey mob. Soprano, seen here in an FBI surveillance photo with family associate Salvatore Big Pussy Bompensero, was believed to be the target of a botched murder attempt last year. Furio. Furio? Come in here? What? To see what indoor plumber looks like? I'm making some changes. Well, thanks for fucking telling me. Tell what was this decided? I do something wrong? Sunday. My house. Box of Malamos on the counter. Fucking empty. You think I don't know it was you? I'm kidding you, you fuck. I was like... <laughs> Listen, him coming over is good. You're getting a bump. The fact that he can't see the road ahead suggests my abandoning him. I had to go into hiding, remember? And wasn't that thrilling? Fuck you. You think this is funny. You smug cocksucker. Fuck you. Jennifer, your language. It's a bank. She's trying to take out a loan on my mother's house. Parvani? Janice. Her name is fucking Janice, okay? Fucking goddamn fucking bitch! God damn it, Tony! Really? He's terrified. I'm terrified. Gonna be interesting. Wish I had some popcorn.
you. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing here? What do you think? Where's my sister? Mm. The store. I'm making breakfast. You want some eggs? I hope you're not thinking about moving in here. Cross the line on me once, Anthony, and I hold my tongue. Put the fork down. She may be your sister, but back the fuck off. You know, all due respect. Respect? What the fuck do you know about respect? I put you back in business, you cocksucker. Did you go see Beansy? Fucking paraplegic? Why don't you make him some fucking eggs? Hello? I'll take care of the loan. Don't worry about it. I'll give you the money. Oh, look at this. Oh, How's your fucking Harriet here? That's beautiful. Stay as long as you like, Rich. She's your fucking problem now. Maybe I can change your mind. Whoa, whoa, what are you doing? You're dropping your fucking oranges. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Chris. Great. Came natural. There we go. He's have, like, huh? Yeah. Listen. Uh, any questions? <laughs> uh, Bob and Amy? Why does he want to do this? Nobody tells me nothing. Uh, Who's the zip anyway? This is the cousin. He's with us now? Mm. Guess I didn't get the memo. Would you have read it if you got one? <laughs> Where the fuck you been anyway? Did you talk to that guy down at the uh, tanning salon? He only had half. Again? Uh, Ask me. It's that Chinese cunt he's married to. Bad influence. She's a Filipino. Leave it alone. You sure? Yeah. What you thinking about, Tony? Carmela. Ah. Uh, what do you want? <laughs> I brought some cookies. Pignones. You're not welcome in this house. Our relative from the other side is here. I should pay my respects. Oh. Yes! <laughs> what did you say? I love it. About glass? So why the fuck am I ripping phones out of the wall in front of my kid? And screaming at my sister all the fucking time, although she is totally unimportant to me. You got a lot on your mind. Take your Prozac. Because I'm the boss. Mm. I had this fucking weird dream the other night. Yo, when I had the polyps, they put me through that fucking MRI, I'm telling you. <laughs> I think they used my ass to invent some new tests. I was at the beach, but I had a suit on. And a shoes, too. You have a camera up your ass the size of a garden hose. You want to hear this fucking dream or not? Uh, yeah. All right. He's trying to open up. He needs to see Jennifer. What are you, a family counselor? You want to get involved in people's problems? Here. Yes, <gasps> now you're fucking involved, OK? Yes. Yes. Do something. Yeah. Why do you always have to ruin everything? Huh? He doesn't know. I got the bullets! <laughs> Look! Oh, God. And the cops swarm in. Let him alone. That's my son. We'll face it together. It's okay, Jim. Stand up. And I'll stand up with you. He's really crying. I'll try to be as strong as you want me to be. Why is he really into it now? He sucked before. Dad, this is Judy. She's my friend. Sing. <laughs> Unfreaking believable. Exactly. God, you were really good. How'd you make yourself cry like that? Hey, don't get up. I wasn't gonna. It's shit. Say hello to Fiorio. Friend of ours on the other side. I'm in the middle of fucking eating. I know. Do me a favor, will you, sweetie? Yes. Keep this warm. Thank you. Five minutes. All right? He's not in the loop. I'm thinking about taking my patient back. Oh, I figured. It's a serious decision. He's my responsibility. Elliot, I abandoned he him. He needs you. I think seeing him again will be very therapeutic for me. It's not supposed to be therapeutic for you. This is your therapy mm -hmm. here. Do you have sexual feelings for him? Toodaloo! <laughs> she regrets that. No. 
Is he going to whack him or just... Yeah. Holy hell! <laughs> I don't want to see this. Holy I hell. <gasps> that was a customer! Stop. Holy hell! Think about it. I'll keep the hour open. Yeah. I don't know what I've just witnessed. He is... Is that what he did in Italy other than make cheese? B. A. Oh, oh, oh. Stop it, Christopher! Oh, this is inappropriate! Oh, oh, oh. Do not hit! Oh, oh. Maybe he really reminded you of your father and that's why you got so into it. Yeah. And maybe that's why you hit him tonight. Yeah. My father. All those feelings right? I have about how he died so young. Oh, fuck that. She's happy he's there. I want to be in total control. There's no such thing as total <clears throat> control. Of course there is. You want to be a better gang leader? Read The Art of War by Sun Tzu. You know what? Fuck you. She just called him a gang leader? You know who I am, and you know what I do. Okay. You called me. Wish there was me in there. Giving the beating or taking it. Very interesting episode. Some funny moments, some hellish moments. I'm just terrified. Um, this guy from Italy, Tony brings over, it's his cousin, distant cousin, something. Um he can he can make this wonderful cheese that they had when they were in it in Italy. Uh, he wants his friend Artie to hire him, but he doesn't gonna, he's not gonna pay him. He just wants him to have a place to be, like to work. And then he can stay in the in the US. No immigration things. Okay. Tony is gonna pay him. But he really like he, he beat the shit out of well, some customers that were just in the way. And then the wife, like, I, right in the face. And then the, the, the guy that Christopher was trying to get money from earlier. I mean, he was supposed to send him a message. And, oh, my gosh, it was brutal. It just went on and on and on. He's like a, like a professional I don't know if he really makes cheese in Italy. I think he does that. But Tony was sitting outside enjoying it, smoking a cigar. Gonna get his money. So that happened. Um, Tony is struggling with, um, as he said to the therapist, he's gone back now because she called him up and she thinks it's therapeutic for her that Tony come back and see her. She keeps having the dream, same dream that we saw in the earlier episode. So she feels like she's abandoning him and that, you know, he's going to spiral and which he's, you know, he hasn't been taking the Prozac all the time. He just takes it whenever and then I mean, his anger is out of control. He's he's throwing the phone in the house. He's acting up in front of the kids. He found out that he has the panic attacks. His dad had panic attacks in the past. So he kind of feels like there's a little bit of an answer there, you know. Um, 
it is it is hereditary by the way um anxiety kind of stuff um depression things like that can be hereditary as well as any physical um illnesses that people have it's the same so he's thinking well you know i, I don't know I, I don't remember what the name of this episode was called but it was about feelings really it was about what what tony was feeling and he was not acting appropriately when he was angry when he felt out of control he was you know he was trying to talk to everybody and i was i kept saying you need to see a therapist because he needs to be telling Jennifer this and he's trying to talk to everybody else and they're talking about something else and he's like can I tell you my story can I tell you my dream can I well that's not what they're there for that's what Jennifer's there for but he finally went back to her so and then we see Christopher in this acting class it was kind of like but then he does this one scene and I'm um, when he attaches himself to the guy's leg and he's really like daddy and he's like crying and you know it's it's an emotional kind of scene like he really started crying and he really moved everybody and i was like because he was just crap before i mean he was he was talking like this great acting um but then it got like really interesting and good and i was like okay like that was really good like uh, that was out of nowhere good but then his girlfriend brought it up later you know you are feeling something when you're acting which is what you do and which explains why he cried the one time and then the second time the same guy that was playing his dad or this father figure <laughs> there was just this, this say a and b and the guy said a and he punched him I mean he broke his nose I mean he just kept on kicked him and yeah so more um inappropriateness um so yeah this one was about um Tony needs therapy which I'm glad he went back but he needs to focus his anger through the therapy he needs to talk it out but he needs to take his medicine as well and stop just beating up on people I thought it was very interesting when she asked him whenever he told her you know what I was doing when you called me I was sitting outside and this guy was inside you know broke this guy's arm shot him in the knee um, and then he, he was saying that he wished that he was inside and she says what the one beaten up on the person or being beat up on and that was like it was like a mm, moment because he just looked at her like yeah when of course he's always like cussing her out to me it left off at the end where Christopher is gonna give up on this being a writer acting slash writing he threw a bunch of stuff away i don't think he can deal with the feelings feeling something is what makes it good writing and just like tony like they don't know how to express that correctly in a healthy way where you don't put someone else in the hospital or kill them things like that so it was a good episode I'm glad that Tony is back seeing the therapist because I enjoy their little sessions together so Richie and Janice that moment was weird in the mom's house didn't get to see Livia it's a shame for Livia and you'll see her next episode but it was good. I enjoyed it. Thanks for watching with me. Until the next video and the next time. Bye.